Folsom is well known for beautiful horse farms, and one of those farms is a nonprofit therapeutic riding center. New Heights is celebrating 20 years, and their services are growing in popularity. Let's go. Since September, lessons have grown from 30 to almost 100 riders per week. Equine therapy is getting more popular, and we are so busy, it's wonderful. There's that smile. New Heights offers adaptive therapy and hippotherapy. Noelle Miller is an occupational therapist who specializes in hippotherapy, something she's been teaching for 26 years. Let me make sure she's in the middle. When you research hippotherapy, you understand that the movement of the horse influences the postural responses in people to elicit certain movements so that we can achieve functional goals. It's just like any other therapy in a clinic that a doctor would order. This is my clinic and the horse is my tool. Oh, you gotta guide him through the maze. When we visited, Noelle was working with Sarah, who has a progressive neurological disease, which presents like a traumatic brain injury. Reach, Sarah, and pull back. Sit straight up for me. Good posture. Beautiful. Switch hands. We work on perceptual motor skills, visual motor skills, fine motor skills, sitting balance, trunk balance, all of it. Perfect. Good job. Sarah's only been in New Heights for four months, but she's made unbelievable progress, both physically and mentally. When you see her smile, she smiles like nobody else that comes out here. She loves to be on the horse. <laughs> You're excited. <laughs> the other kind of therapy the farm offers is adaptive therapy. Walk on new heights, everybody. Walk on, walk on new heights. Down, take a right, and we're just going to keep making right turns. When people come out, you can just see their whole demeanor change. Vicki Island started at New Heights as a volunteer. Ten years later, she's the program director and volunteer director. She teaches adaptive therapy. You are posting. Oh, Maddie, I'm so proud of you. I teach horsemanship skills to people with special needs. So I adapt our um, my lessons, the equipment that we use, the tack that we use, so that's appropriate for each individual rider and their needs and goals. Good job, Katie. It's grueling work physically for these participants, but we sat in on a session and you could see the joy. There's a real connection between the riders and the horses. He's my best friend. I love him. I like bear. Some people um, never dreamed they could ride a horse, and so somebody that may have some physical and mental or emotional challenges that might be something they never thought that they could do, but providing that opportunity is what makes it important to me. And New Heights depends on volunteers. Every little bit helps, even if you can only go out for an hour. Also, all of their horses are on loan. They're always looking for new therapy horses, and they serve riders with so many different needs, including a wonderful veterans program. Guys, if you want me to showcase your zip code, tell me why. Send me an email to lspoon at wwltv.com. I'd love to hear from you. Guys.